How cool is it? That's that's seizure inducing cool. I got this in New Orleans. Me and my friend both got one. She has the other one. And someday they will be reunited. And they shall give the mightiest of cheers. You sound like a bit like Thor then. <laughs> Just a little bit. Throw it down. Another! We're gonna do a pickups video. But we're gonna kinda of treat it as a this is what happened in Portland experience pickups video. Yeah. So as we go through some of these pickups, and I'll kick them off with a couple. We're going to take it in turns to sharing some stories of stuff that happened while we were at Portland for the three days I was there and the two days you were there. So a lot of subscribers and, and I guess fans of the show, I really don't like saying fans of the show because it feels so weird to say fans of the show. Members of the community? Members of the community. I mean, these guys, they, the subscribers come up to me and they say, hey, I'm a big fan of the show. So, I mean, that's what they are. It just feels so weird saying it, but some lovely, fantastic people who watch this show and are subscribed to me gave me a bunch of really cool free stuff and I know it made you insanely jealous with a lot of the things. When we were sat at Alpha's panel, um, Alpha and, ha and Happy Console Gamers panel, I sat down and the guy next to me is like, oh! And he, he reaches into his bag and he gives me this massive stack of PS2 games. Now, this stack here is actually a mix between the PS2 games he gave me and the PS2 games um, that I bought. The stack he gave me was about this big. I've just taken some of them out to save time, but I've left a lot of them in here. And some of the ones that came from him were Omni Oni Musha, which I always pronounce the wrong way. Final Fantasy. Um, can you pronounce this one for me? <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I don't know why I've never been able to say that. I just can't. It's a tongue twister. Um, and then a Primal, and just a, st a bunch of other games that it blew me away. And then we sat the, at the thing for a while. And at the end of it, this is what he this is what he does to me. This is I didn't tell you this, but this is what he said. He reached into his bag and he pulled out these two. And he looked at me and he's like, Secret of Evermore or Zelda? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, which one do you want? And I was like, I, ca I can't. I can't, I cannot, I don't, I don't want to, you just keep them. And he's like, you know what? <sighs> no. <laughs> that, I... <laughs> I can't, like, words can't explain this, and I'm so sorry that offhand I can't remember your name, but I met so many people that weekend, so, so many people. I signed, like, at least 40 different things, like games, pieces of paper, VIP badges, Nesses. I signed a 64 at one point. In fact, I signed his 64. Mm -hmm. I met so many people, and my memory is so bad as it is that there's no way I can remember everyone's name, and I'm so sorry, but please comment down below. And if you haven't added me on Facebook, add me on Facebook so I can thank you one more time. Um, and then again and again and again on repeat. Some other things I was given was Resident Evil 2, again by a, a fantastic person who I had a good chat with for a long time. And I actually got stopped in the street, <laughs> back to the hotel room. A guy yelled out, WOOD! from across the other side of the road. And he stopped me to give me Secret of Mana 2 on Famicom. Or Secret, uh, Secret of Mana 1, sorry, yeah. just, I read the 2 and it confused me. Again, like right after getting Evermore, it's. I don't know, like, it's just, it's way, way too cool. Before I go through the rest of the PS2 games in here that made me happy, how about you do one of your pickups or tell a story? Yeah, well, I... Wood wasn't the only one who got a couple of uh, freebies on this trip. Um, one of my favorite stories of the trip, actually, was at... Um... I don't think I even no, introduced you. Oh, hey, I'm Derek. <laughs> if you haven't picked up on this yet, I'm staying with Derek. I've been here for about three weeks now. I put him in the hospital. <laughs> he, he was in the ER for three days, four days because of me, and we went to Portland together and had a lot of fun. I'm okay, though. You just make me drink a lot of water, and that's what I'm doing. But, um, but anyways, so when I was at Retro Liberty's panel, uh, they had a really fun game of, uh, you know, name that tune, basically. I think they've done it a couple times before in the past, and... Um, and I went ahead and went up there um, <laughs> at my wife's uh, beckoning. She she told me that I should make my way up there, so I did. Um, and God, that was that was a really fun experience. Everybody was it, it was like a really hard version of name that tune because people were dropping left and right. And can I say um, that I missed that entire thing? <laughs> yes, you can. Because the night before, I was out drinking with Alpha and Rob Man from Happy Console Gamer until um, five thirty in the morning when we finally went to bed and I woke up at 10 and I'm like, I'm not getting up. I'm going to, I'm missing the start of this uh, today. I don't care. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks that it was actually in the middle of retro abilities and NES complexes panel. And I ran, <laughs> I ran to that from the hotel room and I, I got that. I burst in the door sweaty with five minutes to go. 
Yeah. Five minutes to go. And then I was actually meant to be on the panel. I spoke to them the day before. I'm like, can I please be on your panel? And they were like, sure, come sit down. So I sat down there with five minutes to go and everyone's standing in a line guessing music. And I was like... <sighs> he, had, he had already uh, missed my moment of glory where I won... Here, I'll just show this right now. I won a copy of Prinny for PSP. And which when has, I... Which sorry. Which is the uh, soundtrack. I was going to say, when I got there, the only games that were left were all really crappy sport titles for the NES and, like, ColecoVision and a couple things like that that no <laughs> one wanted. Mm -hmm. The dregs. So I missed all the cool stuff like that. Yeah. You missed it. But, uh... But, the, but towards the end of the show, Wood bursts in, Hey, everybody! It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> half the people... Half the people were like, okay, that's cool, you're here. And then the other half were like, who is this guy? And why is he interrupting Retro Liberty's panel? Why is he on stage now? Why is he sitting down? Why Where is did he... NES Complex go? At one point, <laughs> one point me and NES Complex started like, pretending to make out and no one even said anything. And then we realized it just got really awkward. <laughs> um, so some of the other PS2 games I got in here. When I first got to um, Portland... If I call it Retro Palooza at any point, just forgive me. I've been doing that the whole time. I almost said it then. When I first got to Portland, I actually got there on the Friday before it was open and everyone was setting up. And there was a couple of booths. And while they were setting up, people were trying to buy some stuff. Just people that were walking around, vendors, stuff like that. People like me who were lucky and got in early. Not many people. Um, and one of the stores was this guy who looked like he was just trying to get rid of his collection. Like he was just selling his stuff off. And this was the guy that I took you to the second that I saw mm. you. Because his stuff was ridiculously cheap. There was no like best price is there to the point where he was all sold out by the end on Saturday after the first day that he didn't come back on the Sunday um, so he had games like Road Galaxy for I think that was like ten dollars which is like you know five dollars under he had Xeno Saga for I can't even remember what that was it was, it was under five bucks I got Chain of Memories that was about ten dollars uh, Onimusha was five I think Radiant Stories uh, Radiata Stories. Radiata Stories. I don't know why I always do that. Uh, that wasn't one of them. I got that for 10 bucks somewhere else. Actually, this was one of the things I came here to get. Yeah. And it took me until the very last place I was looking for video games to finally find it complete. This with whole menu. time. This whole time in Seattle, he's been looking for a black label, complete inbox, dark cloud. We couldn't one. find it with a manual and under 25 bucks. We oh, found yeah. one for like 25. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I found Dark Cloud 2 at Retropalooza, my first convention, for 20 bucks. That's a steal. Um. That was seven bucks. Star Ocean to the end of time. I, I don't know what kind of limited edition this is or if it's just like a box, but for seven dollars, I wasn't going to say no. The best part about that guy though was that things were PS2 games were a dollar. Um, the next thing was actually oh my god, how long have I been looking for Bat and Chaos since I've been here as well? Mm -hmm. And everywhere there had it marked for 20, 25. He had it for 10. Yeah, this guy gave even me some really awesome deals. First thing I got there was like you have to come check out this guy's panel or not his panel his, his uh, stall his stall yeah so I picked up Contact an Atlas game um, he had it marked at first 16 and um, Suikoden 4 a lot of people don't like that one but I do um, it's actually the first Suikoden uh, game that I played and then he sold Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga for um, like two bucks it was, heck of a deal on all of these things actually. These are all the things that came from him too. Now bear in mind that these prices weren't even solid. He haggled down even further and, and took took prices off. But I was I was new so I didn't haggle down. Blue Dragon Plus, seven dollars. Children of Mana, eight dollars. Oh like all these are complete too. Lux Paint, actually I don't know what this is, but I picked it up because one dollar. Literally one dollar on the back there. Wow. This is marked for a dollar. It's marked for a dollar. Did you haggle him down from the dollar? He, he gave it to me for free. <laughs> oh, good man. Magical Star Sign. Uh, that's five dollars. I didn't know what that was either, but it looked cool and it was five bucks. Like it's, I have quite a nice DS collection, so I like adding to it. But this is my favorite thing. It was fifteen, but he put it down to ten. It's uh, I was only released in Japan, and it's a Super Smash Brothers, but with like all these characters. So. Is that like Shonen Jump characters? Yeah. So it's got Goku and Naruto and One Piece and wow. Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I, I can't, there's a lot of people I don't recognize in here, I'm sure there are a lot of them. I think that's from, um, what anime is that? Uh, Death Note, right? Death Note, yeah. Oh, can I, can I see that? Yeah, have a look. I get carried, like, that's a really cool, <laughs> no, don't. But that's something that I, when I first saw that, I was like, I gotta have that in my collection one day, and, uh, there you go. 
So I get to fight Naruto with Goku. How is that not awesome? That is amazing. So I'm gonna tell another story now. We've got like notes over here of stories. In Portland, there's a arcade bar, a barcade called Ground Control. Now you went to Ground Control. How awesome was that place? Oh man, that that place was that was, it was so awesome. Tons of arcade games, tons of people. Um, a lot of huge YouTubers were there, and I got to even talk to some of them. And uh, well. There was a slight issue of sound. <laughs> yeah, it was really loud. Everyone really, had to yell. Really hard but to hear. But the, a lot of a lot yeah. of arcade machines, a lot of fun, cheap drinks, um, good vibe. And yeah, I went there all three nights and had drinks. Uh, the first night we were there with NES Complex and Arcade Impossible, and I can't even remember who else went on that first night. But it's all because I was there every Talking night. So Friday it all night came on. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Saturday night. Metal Jesus was there, as well as the same people that were there the night before. Alpha was there. I was there. You were there, but I, I just was... missed you. <laughs> yeah. Just missed you. Mm -hmm. um, and then Sunday, everyone... Amy's home. On Sunday, everyone had left, uh, except for me, Happy Console Gamer, uh, Johnny Millennium, obviously, Rob Man, we're filming, and Alpha. So us four went there, we had some more fun. And yeah, that place was... that place was awesome. Yeah, it was. Um, me, me and Alpha got up to a lot of mischief. I went over the world's scariest bridge in order to get there. Amy and I both walked there. It was like, I don't know, it was, was it like 9 o'clock? Mm. About 9 o'clock-ish. It was just pitch black, walked over uh, a bridge, over a river, um, from our hotel room over there. It was like a mile-long walk, and it was just through some really shady areas, actually. And, and in hindsight, uh, it's probably not the best idea, but man, we had, we had a lot of fun when we were there, though. It was, uh, it was probably worth it. <laughs> From that Mr. Cheap guy, I got, um, without looking at the price on the back here, I got a sealed Legend Legendary Super Warriors Dragon Ball Z. Not to be confused with Mr. Cheap, though. Not to be confused with Mr. Cheap? Oh, what did I call it, Mr. Cheap? Yeah, you call him Mr. Cheap guy. Mr. Cheap guy? <laughs> okay, Mr. Cheap guy. Mr. Cheap's arch nemesis. <laughs> sealed. Place your bets. What would you think this would be marked at? Okay, uh... Sealed using my best judgment, I'd say like maybe twenty-five, eight, eight dollars. Good. Yeah. Guess what I got it for? What? It, you got it for less than that. I got it for five. God. I love that guy. Like he had so much stuff. When I was trying to buy stuff from him, there was a guy that was pulling all this stuff out. I turned around at one point and realized there was a stack of games on the other table. Shoot, and everything there was amazing. Like Metal Case Metroid for five for fifty bucks. And I can't, I, I seriously, looking, like, thinking back, I can't remember, remember what was there, but I'm talking the rare stuff, the stuff you look for. Last story, I took a picture of it. Last story, but in, like, the big oh, book I thing, I think it was 40. I would have paid for that. There was, like, this, and I'm like, oh my god, there's stuff, there's the great stuff on this other, and then I noticed it was some guy that was pulling, that was all his. That was, was everything his? he picked out, and oh, he filled no. up this container. Uh, the, he filled up this huge container that the guy had bought some of the stuff in, and he, he, he just made an offer on all of it and got the whole lot. And that's where most of the really great stuff went. <laughs> that that guy, oh, that hurts. That guy was not there on Sunday. Um, so I'm not showing everything I got from Portland. So there's a couple of things I'm saving to when I get home, and the biggest, biggest, biggest thing I'm saving till I got home. And You're it's like it. Everyone that I've told I've bought it so far has been jealous, and I'm only like telling you that not because I'm cocky, but because it's it's freaking amazing. But I paid for it. I paid three hundred dollars for it. Mm -hmm. um, this I didn't pay 300 for, actually, from Ricky, from Retro Liberty, who was selling a bunch of stuff. I actually managed to pick up, hit, this is Ricky's old Virtual Boy. I got two controllers, I got the stand, it's there, there somewhere, this is just obviously one controller. 40 bucks. That's, that's a real, that's a steal. If you could pop that somewhere over there, because it's on top of the next thing. But, um, and then I picked up Mario's Tennis later on for 3 bucks. No, I had another 2 bucks. Wow, so that's actually a really fun game. I remember, I remember playing this in a demo in, uh, in a Hastings back when I was a kid. With when, Virtual Boy? Yeah, when it first came out. It was it was a lot of fun. I mean, well, as much fun as you could have for like five minutes when your parents were picking out a movie. But uh, who knows, maybe any more than that I would have got a headache or something. Um, Speaking of headaches. So let's look at our stories list and see what other stories we can tell. I slept in a bed with Alpha. Mm-hmm. Um, that was quite an enjoyable experience. I woke up to him throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> That's when I ran to, to the to the panel and almost got there in time. Nature's alarm clock. Oh, I met... Okay, 
We met so many amazing people and you, it's surprising sometimes who you end up clicking with, who each individual person ends up clicking with. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, this guy doesn't like this guy, this guy doesn't like this guy. It's a matter of, you know, we're all friends, we're all family, but then obviously every, every once in a while, a couple of people just click. Yeah, like magnetism. It's crazy. And the person, the person I really am surprised that I click with was a, a guy called The Big JB, who's from Metal Jesus' channel. But I called him Tony all weekend, <laughs> because here's the thing, now I get the Thor thing a lot, and I love playing it up, obviously on the channel I've played it up all the time, I look like Thor, blah blah blah, it's really fun. Something I do get a little sick of, is not people coming up to me and saying, you know you look like Thor, actually no, that is what I get sick of, I said that wrong, <laughs> you look like Thor, that, I like that. When someone comes up and they say, has anyone ever told you that you look like Thor, that, it starts to, it's like, yes. And I know I have this look in my eyes where I'm like, yes. <laughs> the second I saw this guy, and I actually haven't seen him on Metal Jesus', Metal Jesus channel before. I don't know how I, how I missed it. I mean, I, I watched his top 10 videos, but I guess I'm, I'm, I'm a noob and I didn't watch all of it. So when this guy's walking towards me behind Metal Jesus, I, look, I looked at him and I'm like, do you know you look like Tony Stark? <laughs> and I saw that look in his eyes of just, yes. <laughs> and I've instantly, I, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, I know what I've done. But why is the timer gone to 16 and orange? Uh, that's because it's about to cut us off. I'm going to make a jump cut. Because it only does like... My camera cut us off. Ice cream, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> Amy. Is that because you knew you were going to be on camera and now everyone loves you right now? <laughs> no. Come here. I thought the camera was off. We no. just got ice cream brought to us. This, this ice cream brought to us by my Say lovely hello. wife. Hello. <laughs> Thank it's you, Amy. It's chocolate cake, whipped cream, ice cream, strawberries. Yes. That is amazing. Thank you. Yep. We didn't get you anything. I've had Thor in my house for the past three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? Okay, yeah. But the funny thing is, right after that exact moment, we just started talking. And at this point, I don't even, I don't even remember what we were talking about. We talked and we talked and we talked. And then later on, I bumped into him again right around lunchtime. We started talking again. He's like, look, I'm going to, I'm going to go have sushi with Metal Jesus. Do you want to come with us? And obviously, we already hung out with Metal Jesus once before. So I was like, yeah, yeah, this should be cool. And I just left and we went and we had sushi and it was like a 20 minute walk to the sushi place and we just had this another big talk. We sat down at the sushi place and uh, me and Metal Jesus smashed out this big talk. It was just, I don't know, like, and then after the, the entire Portland experience, I they left. They left before we got to say goodbye because you guys left early and you couldn't see them. They tried looking for me, but I was, or I was having a shower at the hotel room. So today we went out to lunch with them. We had, we had ramen. Um, near where they work, just because we like, we all wanted the chance to say goodbye. Yeah, that was a really amazing ramen joint. The, but, but but the company was immensely, just far better than the ramen. We were there for an hour, but it felt like five minutes. It really did. Everyone was talking to someone the whole time, and it was just talking to Metal Jesus now, talking to um, Tony Stark now, talking to Drunken <laughs> Master Paul now, talking to Metal Jesus' wife now. It's just... <sighs> a table full of lovely people. Absolutely. I'm going to be hard to do this and eat at the same time. Should we do a jump cut? <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this. I thought this was really interesting. I've never seen one of these before, ever. Oh, the, um, what is that called? The Nest Max. Max, yeah. I don't even know what to say about it. I saw it for two bucks, and I'm like, I, yes, please. Look at that, look at that Nest controller. Is, is, an analog stick is this meant to be a little floppy though? I don't think so. I think it's supposed to center. Mm. That's probably why it was two bucks. Two bucks. I'll see if I can give it a fix, but honestly, for two bucks, it's just been looking nice on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I got one more thing that I was going to show you guys. Oh, have you gone through all of your games already? Yeah, I know. You're going to have to do some of yours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some of mine. While he's picking what he's going to have next, Oh yeah, here's a good story. Terry and Tyler from Luigi Freakout. So Terry is a Terry is an absolutely amazing, amazing man and hooked these guys up with a hotel room for Saturday night. It was actually meant to be me as well. But um well okay. Initially it was 
hey Wood, we're gonna hook you up with a hotel room from the convention, and we're gonna buy you tickets to the convention. That was... That was what crazy. made me want to go to Portland and want to come to America in the first place. It's Terry and Tyler from Luigi Freak Out. Then I said, hey, I'm bringing my friend and my friend's wife. Can they stay with me? And he's like, sure. I'll book you a room for three. Yeah. And I ended up not even staying in that room in the end. You guys get it to your, <laughs> got it to yourself. Yeah. Because I ended up crashing in Alpha's place, at Alpha's hotel room anyway with Rob Man. But Terry, I, I don't know what, why am I talking about Terry right now other than the fact that he's absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, on the uh, Friday night though, the first night that I was there, after Terry had picked me up from the airport, mind you, because he's amazing, me, Terry, Tyler and Maddie J are all in the hotel room. And we start talking about little Samson. And I, I, I obviously bring up the fact that little Samson is a great name for a penis. And that my, my, my name for my penis would be little Samson. But then they thought, there should be, there's probably a better NES name for the penis. So we got the list out of all the NES games. And we were going down and there was, you know, there was Battle Tank. Is that uh, Warrior's Woods? Warrior's Woods was one of our favorite ones. There was uh, Chubby Cherub. Now Chubby Cherub was the winner for a long time until we got down to M and we found the winner beyond any doubt. Me, Terry, Tyler and Matty J all confirmed that my penis is now called Monster in My Pocket. <laughs> okay, what have you got? Alright, so I'm going to show off a couple of uh, other pickups that I got on this trip. Um, I was just talking a little bit ago about free stuff that I got, and, um, well, I, I failed to mention the most important free thing that I got, which was so amazing. Um, coolest guy at the convention there gave me Lost Kingdoms 2, and that was bought by, uh, my best friend Wood here. Best friend. For those of you who don't know, Lost Kingdoms 2 is my favorite game on the console. And I told him for ages that he should buy it. So when I saw it, actually, you, I saw it and thought I should buy that for you. And then you ended up buying it for yourself later on. So I bought it for you anyway. I just gave you the money. Yeah. And that, and I also got Lost Kingdoms 1 when I was there. Um, also got a couple of Xbox 360 exclusives from Squaresoft that I just thought I should because they were just five bucks a piece Infinite Undiscovery and The Last Remnant. And probably my favorite find of the entire trip, though was uh, this this nice little boxed Alundra. Alundra? Alundra. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's by Working Designs, and it, it just, it's a very striking cover because everything is just very foily. I don't know if, how well this is going to be picked up on camera, but like even the label, the end label is like foil. Like the attention to detail by, uh, by working designs with their releases is just amazing. A lot of your games had really fancy covers like that, like your um, Enter the Matrix oh, yeah. has a holographic fancy. We didn't even get that. It's like they looked at Australia and they were like, eh, they're not going to care. They, they, they don't even play games. They just play, play on their didgeridoo. <laughs> okay, before I show you the last thing that I got, and I've like put it into the frame about three times now, so you already know what it is anyway, if you paid attention. Um, the PewDiePie story. <laughs> So Saturday night, all the YouTubers that weren't, um, I don't know what the other guys were doing. Oh, there was a, there was an auction Saturday night. So games to 81 and, and Metal Jesus and the crew and Terry and Tyler were all there for the auction. But everyone else, every YouTuber that was there, except Alpha, I don't know why Alpha and Happy. Most of the people that were there, okay. So we're, we're talking Retro Liberty, we're talking Silver Mongoose, we're talking Billy Mac. Wow, I haven't mentioned Billy Mack yet. I don't the guys from Arcade Mac. Impossible were there. Arcade Impossible, NES Complex. Wow, I haven't talked about NES Complex enough yet either. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a long video at this point. We all went out, okay, and we're waiting to get seated. And the guy comes up that's going to be seating us, and he's like, he, he can tell that we're gamers, that we come from the convention. We exude gamers. We exude nerdiness. So he's like, do y'all have YouTube channels? And I was like, yeah, we do. And then he looked at NES Complex and he's like, what, anyone I would know? Like, what's your name? And he's like, NES Complex. And he's like, oh no, I've never heard of y'all. What's your name? And then Amy, was, your wife was like, you know, he's Super Derek. <laughs> and obviously he'd never heard of anyone, never heard of anyone in this, in this line. So when he gets to me, I don't want to be the next guy. So he, he's like, do you have a channel? And I was like, hey, yeah, have you ever heard of um, PewDiePie? Now bear in mind at this point, my hair was tied back and I had like little things down here and I had a bit less of a beard and I guess looking at PewDiePie, if you hadn't met him in person before and there's a bunch of YouTubers sat there, if you were to turn around and say, that's me, 
that someone might actually believe you and his face lit up lit up like Christmas and started shaking my hand vigorously Just completely started geeking out and shaking everyone else's hand like at that point he shook your hand he did shake at my that hand. point he shook NES Complex's hand because in his head he's thinking a 14 million dollar a year man just walked in I'm going to get the biggest tip <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad I didn't want to break his heart so I uh, oh, that's... I made sure that when I sat down yeah. at the table, I sat facing the wall <laughs> so that no one could look at me. And apparently some of the waitresses were asking to get their photo with PewDiePie. <laughs> oh no. So that was <laughs> pretty much the worst. Okay, and before I have the next scoop of ice cream, <laughs> the last thing I got, the very first thing I bought at the at the Portland Retro and Gaming Expo on the Friday before anything was set up was this was sat there all crispy with a very nice look. I'll get it out. I'll get I'll get out my um, monster in my pocket. The manual is in there, and it just had a twenty buck uh, label on it. And you, and I thought, you know what? Yes, because I've seen these this entire holiday for fifteen bucks, and I've wanted one. But I haven't wanted to fit it into luggage somewhere, so I thought rather than get one loose, I should get one in a box because it'll be even easier to put it into luggage. And uh, there it is. So nothing fancy really. It's just it, I thought it was cheap and really cool, and I thought it looked good on the wall. Was that the was that the one item that you did not ha uh, haggle down on the trip? I tried. You tried. I just, oh oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. I shouldn't fall in the ice cream. I said would you do 15, but like, the poor guy was like setting up, <laughs> the thing hadn't even started yet, it was the Friday beforehand that I'm trying to haggle him down, so I was like, you know what, before it's gone, I'm just going to buy it. So that's my list, nearly met, nearly missed the Retro Reggie panel, ground control three times, slept in Alpha's bed, got there early, and uh, NES Complex, who I ended up becoming, this is going to be really loud as I'm putting this, oh, I'm going to put this to the side. Me and NES Complex, now I say, said before that some people just clicked, um, I'm pretty sure that NES Complex is um, my new best friend, apart from you. Okay. <laughs> okay, NES Complex, this guy, and Rob Man and Alpha, and Tony Stark, and you know, I don't want to leave anyone out here because I've met so many people, but these guys have become family to me. Yeah. Well, and Amy has obviously become family to me. She's sat down there on her phone right now. So many people have become family to me, but NES Complex, we, we hung out every day of the weekend. We made an effort to hang out every day of the weekend. You know what? He couldn't find me before he was going to leave. So he, he he had to go catch his train because the plane was coming. And um, I get a message. Terry got a message on his phone because I don't have a phone. And it said, hey, I couldn't find you guys. I have to leave. I'm so sorry. I'm at the train station. And I ran from the convention to the train station. He saw me coming in the distance. And the train was coming. It was like it was out of a frigging movie. The train was coming, and I'm running towards NES Complex. He throws his arms open, and we have the biggest hug. Everyone around us thinks that we're in the best homosexual relationship ever because we're having this movie moment. I tell him that I love him and that I'm going to miss him, and he gets on the plane, and he's just la I mean, on the train, he's laughing at how stupid the whole thing was. Well, but even during like the sushi that you went out and you ate, like I guess you guys were near inseparable. We had, a... we had pizza. Oh, it was it pizza? Okay. We went and had pizza with. Um, Girlfriend Versus, who have a really fantastic channel, his wife is British, and we had a lot of fun with that, but I'm an Ameri Australian and she's a British person in this American society, all these stupid Americans. So we had a lot of fun making fun of that. <laughs> I'm only joking. But it was fun, you know, you guys say biscuit wrong and all that. <laughs> you do, you call scones biscuits and you put scones in your McMuffins. <laughs> it's weird, don't look at me like that. While I eat your ice cream. Now all of us eat McMuffins. <sighs> well, those who do are wrong. What was I talking about? I'm losing track of stuff. Hanging out with Girlfriend Versus. Oh yeah, so we're hanging out with Girlfriend Versus, Greg from Arcade Impossible, and Mike from Arcade Impossible, and the rest of Arcade Impossible crew are there. Billy Mac is there. Billy, I'm sorry I haven't been talking about you enough. You're awesome. Um, and, I, and, I, and I think that might have been it. That better have been it. If I'm forgetting someone, I'm going to feel really bad. I feel like there was someone else there. Anyway, um, and then NES Complex was right next to me. But for that entire lunch, me and NES Complex were just like, like, there's the table, and this is us talking the entire time. And anytime someone wanted to talk to us, I had to say, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can I just, can I just butt in real quick and ask you a question? We then left after pizza and went and got coffee. The whole way to the coffee place, me and NES Complex is still talking. We're in the coffee place and we're still talking. We tried to go back to the group because I felt like we were being rude. And he was looking at me and I was looking at him and I'm like, what? 
and he's like, he had something to say still, and I could tell it, and he was trying to like mouth it to me and like signal it to me, and I was like, just, just come over here, and we left again for 15 more minutes, and we kept talking, and from then on in, we were like thick as blood. You couldn't separate me and the NES Complex. Even Metal Jesus said, um, who was it that you were hanging around with all weekend? It was NES Complex. What, what was his name again? It was like, everyone that saw me saw NES Complex attached to my hip the whole time. It's, well, he was he was a totally awesome and genuine guy, like, dude. Like, you you see people and you watch people on YouTube and you know what they're gonna be like, and then they seem to always be better. Yeah. And NES Complex is one of the people that excelled at that. It was better than that. It was this guy is just so genuine, so nice, so down to earth, and so Billy Mac. I need to mention you real quickly, Billy Mac. I met you at Retro Palooza, and you are one of the nicest, most genuine guys that I've ever met in my life. You are absolutely fantastic. Now, is there anyone else that I haven't mentioned? Yes, there is. Okay. Damn, you need more stories, and you need more stuff. <laughs> These guys meant to take me home on the Sunday, but they wanted to head out early, and I didn't want to head out early, so I said, screw it, I'm going to find my own way home on Monday, which is a whole other story that we don't have time for. But what it ended up happening was me getting on the train back to Vancouver with Happy Console Gamer, Rob Man, Silver Mongoose, um, Mega Steak Man, and a bunch of other guys. And I got off at Seattle, but there was a five hour train ride with those guys, and I swear that me and Rob are. Uh, we were separated when we were young and we're brothers and I grew my hair out in recognition of my, my bro losing all of his and <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now but I, I love Rob, he's absolutely amazing and Johnny is the nicest, I, not everyone can be the nicest guy but everyone is the nicest guy, seriously. I have to absolutely agree 100%. The guys over at Happy Console Gamer, man, they, they blew me away. Just how fun and engaging they were like they they didn't know who I was but they're like yeah I'll talk to you and they you know raw man uh, just at the at the expo would just talk to me and Amy for like 15 minutes just you know and these people don't deal in handshakes they deal in hugs yeah the, it's I just hugs it. you just hug everyone it's hug 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 you say hello it's hug you see each other halfway through the thing after you haven't seen them since the morning you hug again <laughs> or maybe that's just me maybe I'm very huggable I was actually surprised at how nice everybody was everyone's just like Hey, come shoot the shit with me. I don't care if you have a YouTube show or you're a gamer. Completely unbiased, who was your favorite person? We can't answer that, but you can. Because you don't know anyone of the channels. Who was the favorite, your favorite person you met? Rob Man. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Man. Well, about you know. to cut out. Yep, we are about to cut out. Just a sec. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, no, you need to do the thing. Okay. 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 Continue. He was my favorite because he invited us over for coffee anytime. You can come to his house anytime. I, I will take him up on that offer. He doesn't think I will. I will. We're going to go to Vancouver. I'm going to go to Vancouver it's as well. And point. he's just a really nice guy to talk to. We. Well, all of them were. It was the best bro, the best experience of my life. There, I said it. Can you guys say that? I know you guys got married at some point, but can you, <laughs> can you say that? Because for oh. me, that's what it was. That's old news. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you. Not discrediting Retro Palooza in the slightest because hanging out with the Game Chasers and all that and Alpha was there as well was amazing. It's just, this this one's fresh on me right now and mm. I just can't believe the weekend it's, I it's just the best. It's the best in recent memory. The, I can say that for an absolute certainty. It went by in five minutes too. We were there and then we'd left. Yeah. yeah. I never expected it to be the way it was. And for that, it was probably one of the best experiences I've had in a really long time. And one of the best breakfasts that I've had in a really long time. Portland has really great food. And Voodoo Donuts, wow. Watch out, there's... What was the place? Zally's? Zell's. Zell's. You should go to Zell's. Yeah, if you're in Portland, go to Zell's. Get, get their breakfast. It's amazing. I put this in the wrong way. Okay, I've told every story that I wrote down to remember. I'm sorry if I forgot to say anything about anyone. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting to talk about someone. There's going to be plenty more opportunities to do so. Everyone's absolutely amazing. I'm waiting on a message for someone so I can... Well, that's alright, because I've got a few people that I met that, you know, I had a really good time to, you know, talking with. Um, and I wanted to, to mention them also. Um, Console Colors, um, Silver Mongoose, Retro Gaming Sound Test. Uh, Girlfriend versus Dubious Gaming Online. I actually met him in person. I've already mentioned him on, on my show. 
uh, a couple of times, I think. Oh, yeah, Dubious and, Gaming, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Stump City Retro. So, um, like, if there's anybody that I missed, let me know, because I, I really want to, like, you know, talk to you guys some more. Because uh, everybody, everybody there was just so totally cool. And I also really appreciated all the fans that came up and said hello. Mm -hmm. you know, and they had nice things to say and good questions to ask and you know we're always happy to talk to people that come up to us yeah absolutely they even included me yeah i'm not even really on his show that much we've been told that she should be but she should be because she's super nice that's all that's all isn't it i think that's all because this is like a 25 minute video at the moment yeah actually i think it's more than that i think it's like 30 something yeah so, if you've made it through all the, way to, all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. This, this, it's just we wanted to share some of this experience with you guys, and the stuff that we put up with. Thank you to everyone who came to me and asked for a signature. I signed like 40, 50 things. Thank you to everyone who gave me something. Thank you to everyone who just made me feel like someone. I guess I don't know how else to explain it. And I'm, that goes to fans. That goes to the people who are working at Retro Palooza. That goes to the friends I made at Retro. <sighs> See, I told you I'd do it. Oh, yeah. That goes to the people working at Portland. <clears throat> that goes to the people that I met at Portland. Not just the YouTubers, but the fans, the subscribers, the the crewmen, the, the the fucking the sound techies. I just swore because I'm getting so defrazzled remembering all this stuff. Thank you. Yeah, there's only so many ways to th say thank you. Um, so I think Wood's covered most of them, but... But thank you guys. I'll be there next year, like absolutely no doubt. Yes. And Greg from Arcade Impossible had a lot of great fun hanging with you, and we're going to hang again in a week and a half at Ozpax. Nice. How cool is that? That's it. Doesn't that's so it, it cool. doesn't end? And then hopefully I'm going to get to Magfest. Please stop this video now. Thank you for <laughs> watching. Like the video. Subscribe, and leave a comment. Like for ice cream. Like for the ice cream we were bought. Oh man, that was so awesome. Like like for Amy. Like for Amy. Subscribe for Derek and comment for Rob Man. Yes. That's all. Goodbye. Okay, we have to end this before it goes on for another 20 minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> before I remember another story.